Hey, this is Susan Blanton with Create Happy Paintings. Today I'm going to show you how to make a painting into a stained glass look. I'm so excited today to show you a new method that I have discovered on how to make a painting into a stained glass look. And I wanted to give you some tips and tricks and show you some ways that this can be easy for you. And I do have some parties coming up. Mother's Day is one of them and I will have few featured parties as well. But I wanted to show you how easy this is. It's also very relaxing and kind of puts you into a nice, calm, meditative state. And I just wanted to just give you some insight on how simple and easy and fun. So for instance, what I'm doing here, right, is just, sh just outlining the differences in the different colors and just going around the major areas where there's a difference between a light and a dark or different colors. And it's just like, it almost just brings you back to childhood when you were coloring and tracing and um, it, it definitely takes you somewhere very calm and peaceful. And as you start doing this, it just really starts to transform the piece. Now, I wanted to remind you that if you do any of these classes or do any of these projects by yourself, make sure you have plenty of Sharpies, maybe two or three handy, because you might accidentally uh, start working on a piece that's not dry. See, I'm just testing to see if it's dry enough because I learned that uh, <laughs> you trying to draw through, uh, it can mess up uh, the Sharpie, gets it too wet. Another a uh, thing that happens too, if you use a Sharpie for quite some time, after a while it gets kind of tired and starts to dry out a little, but it's not dried out completely. It just needs a rest. So just put the cap back on, um, lay it on its side and, and use another one for a while. And then when that one kind of gives up, you can go back to that one. So um, two or three is definitely sufficient. Uh, you're not gonna be using all of it. It's just, um, you, ha you just have to go back and forth between the two. Um, but I would highly recommend to make sure that you check the, the dryness of your painting and make sure it's just very dry to the touch, not tacky at all, just very, very dry. And if it's not dry, just go to an area that is dry and then come back to that other part later. Right here, I'm going to speed it up a little bit and just kind of show you how I started with the larger pieces and now I'm kind of going into little more detail and I'm making little round spots that I color in later. I did that with some part of the paintings. It just kind of makes it pop out a little bit and, and give it more of that stained glass type look to it. And it, it's kind of fun too to go back in with a, a paintbrush and just paint those areas. And another reason why I like this is it's very intuitive. You just make the marks wherever you feel like making them. If you make a mistake, nobody's going to know. Um, another thing that you want to keep in mind is you want to make that the make the lines connect to the very end. You don't want um, a black line to just stop somewhere. You need to connect it somewhere. And so the easiest thing to do is just make a line and connect it somewhere else. You can see here I, I had to stop and go get another marker and then tried that one and stop and get another marker just because the other ones hadn't uh, rested from the time that I used it prematurely when it was a little tacky. So see there, I'm, I'm testing it to make sure it's dry so I don't do it again. And so here I'm going a little fast um, just so it, you, you don't uh, have to <laughs> watch me paint uh, forever, but uh, I just kind of at random, just as I was going around, I would see dark and light, and the more you focus, the more you see uh, different hues, and so I start with the larger differences, and as you start with the larger differences, you, you start seeing the smaller uh, hues and differences in color. Thank you for watching today and I hope it looks fun to you. 
definitely check out the Create Happy Now website, events and online store for future events. We have one coming up Saturday, May 8th, 2021. It's the Mother's Day virtual painting party. Bring your mom, bring your daughter, bring your son, and grandmothers and granddaughters are welcome too. See you then. Remember, don't forget to subscribe to the Create Happy Now YouTube channel and also smash that notification bell so you'll know when we have our next video.